Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping our news today at noon. Imagine buying your retirement home only to be forced to then sell it. Yesterday, we gave you an update to the Palm Cove community's efforts to force the condo owners to sell so their units can be turned into apartments. But they say the reality of the sale is too hard to bear. ABC 7's Bill Beth Yates has more. Buying a home is the American dream, but for some Bradenton residents, that dream is about to be shattered. I have the right to have a, a home, a place I can come and feel comfortable, and now I feel like someone is trying to take that away from me. The Blakesleys are among the about 30 Palm Cove residents locked into a condo dispute with the Raleigh Family Trust, a Minnesota-based company owned by Siesta Key residents. The trust purchased a lump sum of units at the community, which gave them the majority vote and the ability to make decisions for all the other owners. And with that control, they voted to do away with the condo association and convert the units into apartments, a move that means the other owners must now sell and vacate their homes. For us to all of a sudden have to give it up to uh, bulk owners just because they have the money over us, which is un unfair. Florida Statute 718 was implemented to protect condo owners from this very situation. The measure was sponsored by Pinellas Representative Chris Balls, and in a previous interview, he shared his thoughts about the Palm Cove situation. I think what's happening here is it's truly a shameful attempt to circumvent the will of the legislature to protect these condominium owners. ABC 7 attempted to reach out to representatives from the Raleigh Family Trust, but was unsuccessful. In the meantime, Palm Cove homeowners were given 90 days to vacate their property. And to make matters worse, they say the offers they're being given for the mandatory sales are low. We paid 157.4 for our condo and market value is maybe in the 80,000s, so we stand to lose a lot of our investment. And, and we have to accept what they want to offer us. I've worked all my life for, for, for what I have, and um, it's, I, it, it's just not right. Paul Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Well, Beth, thank you. In other news, a Manatee County man is arrested after deputies say he vandalized a home under construction and then assaulted a sheriff's canine. It happened overnight along Bay Drive. That's in the Bayshore Gardens area. Deputies say they saw 33-year-old Simon Williamson jump through a sliding glass door. Deputies released a canine named Loki after him. Williamson then closed a gate on the dog, causing an injury. The canine still was able to stop Williamson, who then started punching the animal. Deputies say they intervened and arrested him. Loki is now recovering. A gun store burglary in Tampa catching the attention of gun shop owners here on the Sun Coast. Surveillance video shows a truck crashing into the front of the store early Tuesday morning. Afterwards, several people in matching hooded outfits are seen running inside the Tampa Arms Company. Deputies say the time, by the time the thieves were finished, more than 40 weapons were stolen, including rifles and several handguns. Word of this smash and grab traveled quickly to Sarasota. When I saw the video, I, I feel sorry for the owner of the shop. First off, this guy's put his life and his blood, sweat, and tears into building a business to survive and pay his bills. Each missing firearm has a serial number that can be tracked in a database. The store is offering a $10,000 reward for information that leads to the return of the weapons and an arrest. In other news, severe storms in the south turning deadly overnight. Nearly two dozen reported tornadoes in four states were reported. The death toll now stands at five. Meanwhile, wildfires still burning in southeastern Tennessee. ABC's Elizabeth Herr has the latest. There's a tornado right there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. From Louisiana to Tennessee, death and destruction. In northeast Alabama, tornadoes ripped apart homes and businesses, leaving animals to roam the roads, killing three people and critically injuring children at a daycare center. Trees and some 18-wheeler uh, beds and things that were actually tilted over or near tilted over. In Mississippi, trucks and barns no match for strong winds gusting over 60 miles per hour. We're really lucky that nobody was hurt here tonight. Uh, you know, it, was, it could be the other way. thought it was my time for a minute. There. In Tennessee, go, 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 go. the storms also turned deadly. This as people begin to get a better look at the damages done 
after those raging wildfires swept through a resort area. Dollywood Theme Park spared and Parton said in a statement she is praying for all the families affected by the fire, including those whose homes were gutted, their cars and belongings scorched. The governor there calling this the largest forest fire in a century, resulting in at least three deaths and forcing more than 14,000 to scramble for safety. This man is still looking for his mother. Well, she called me at 830, um, said that the house was on fire and I told her to get to get out immediately and we got disconnected. And today in Tennessee, there could be some relief for firefighters after seeing no rain for nearly two months. Forecasters say there is now a flash flood warning with heavy rain expected in the area. Elizabeth Hur, ABC News, New York. All right, let's get a check now on our weather. And, uh, you know, John, I'm not surprised really that they had tornadoes up there based on the warm, humid air sort of feeding up from, from the south. Certainly one of we the important ingredients, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can. It feels sticky out there. Yeah. Plus, they had some good jet stream activity. They had uh, orographic lifting of the mountains and uh, just all, everything adding up together to just produce a very, very active weather day. Severe weather threat extended all the way from... Um, uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, and even some points north, mm -hmm. all the way down to Louisiana. Yeah. I mean, it was a w almost a thousand mile, uh, 800 mile anyway, swath wow. of uh, area that saw tornado activity. Yeah. 27, over 27 reported tornadoes. Mm -hmm. So uh, a very, very busy weather day. Good news is it's raining cats and dogs up there right now. Yeah, so that's, that, that's helping. Helping some areas, definitely. It is, man. We are looking at some pretty fine weather around here. That same system bringing the inclement weather to the deep south will eventually work its way closer to us, but it will be in a much modified form. No severe weather threat exists for us here on the Sun Coast. We have a little bit of cloud cover out there from time to time, but a lot of sunshine as well. A little bit of a humid southerly air flow, as Scott was mentioning, but uh, so far not much in the way of any kind of rain showers. I bumped up our rain shower chances to about 10% today. I think that should do it. Charlotte might see a little bit of light rainfall there, or maybe already is there on Rotunda over the course of the next half hour or so. Light to moderate rain possible at times this afternoon. All in all, it's going to be a pretty quiet weather day, though, with uh, about a daytime high in the 82 degree range, low 80s. And then as we head into the evening time and the sun begins to dim, we'll start to see those rain chances diminish rapidly. Tomorrow, another chance of rainfall, not necessarily from this southerly wind flow, but from that same front bringing severe weather to the deep south. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few. Scott. Okay, John, thank you. A follow-up this afternoon on a medical marijuana clinic opening in Venice. You can soon start making appointments there. Doctors will start scheduling to see patients in mid-December. It's called the Compassionate Cannabis Clinic, and it's scheduled to open in January. While offering treatment, it will not process, dispense, or provide cannabis medication. New at noon, Englewood Beach Waterfest organizers are looking for your feedback on this month's event. The Englewood Chamber of Commerce has an online survey to determine what business owners and the public are saying about the boat races. The survey was sent to about 2,100 people, including the race teams. The results will be used to help make the event better for next year. The survey is also available on the Chamber of Commerce website if you want to fill one out. It's a special holiday treat we look forward to every year, and it's happening tomorrow night in downtown Sarasota. Hundreds will be out for the annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony. The special guest of the evening will be the jolly man himself, Santa Claus. There's expected to be a few other holiday surprises, including carolers. It starts at 7 o'clock tomorrow night at Five Points Park in downtown Sarasota. The event is free, and children are encouraged to bring a gift to donate to families who are less fortunate this holiday season. Time now to head over to the kitchen and check in with our ABC7 culinary director, Judy Gallagher, who is joined today with a guest from Louise Modern. Judy. I'm here with Chef Jose, and just the prep alone looks so beautiful and creative. Thanks, Chef. What's the dish, dish Hello, that you're going to make today? Today I'm going to be making a warden farm uh, vegetable enchilada. So, can wait. You know what? Perfect. And a vegetable enchilada right around the time that we're full from turkey yes. and we're getting ready for another big dinner. You're going to love it. So stay with us throughout the hours. We bring you the flavors from Louis Modern. I think you're going to really like this recipe. ABC 7 News at 7 weeknights. 
I'm Alan Cohn. Food truck freedom. Sarasota County has had some of the strictest zoning laws in the state, but now trucks are getting the green light. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. An important message for Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you receiving all the benefits available to you? Do you know there is money available to lower your Medicare prescription costs? Now's the time to find the coverage that's right for you at the right price. The way to do that is to explore your options. You can spend hours doing that yourself, or you can call Health Markets and let us do the legwork for you, with no cost or obligation. We'll search a variety of plans from nationally recognized companies to find the coverage that's the best fit for you at a price that fits your budget, and we'll do it at no charge to you. Plus, you may be able to save money on prescriptions. We'll tell you if you qualify. Why pay a penny more than you have to for an insurance policy? Let us find you the right plan at the right price and see if you qualify to lower your prescription costs. Put our free service to work for you at no charge. Call the number on the screen now to make sure you're getting all the benefits you deserve. Don't wait. Call now. What makes America's number one beach even better? How about seafood and music? Don't miss the Siesta Beach Seafood and Music Festival happening Saturday and Sunday, December 3rd and 4th from 10 to 6 p.m. Savor mouth-watering Florida Gulf Coast seafood dishes by top restaurants and chefs while you enjoy great live music from some of Florida's top musical groups. So grab your family and friends at the Siesta Beach Seafood and Music Festival December 3rd and 4th. For more information, visit seafoodfestivals.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Black Friday's biggest deals are still here. That's right, the Black Friday sales event is going strong at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Come shop the area's largest selection of new Jeep Grand Cherokees. Stop by today and drive away in a brand new Jeep Compass for just $15,999. Or save big on a new Jeep Cherokee starting at just $19,999. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So our current air temperature coming in at 80 degrees already. It's a warm, sticky, humid afternoon, I think. A little bit of cloud cover out there as well. 68, our dew point. Getting close to that 70 degree mark. You get, you hit that 70 degree mark. That Nobody would say that's dry air. No one is going to say that feels like dead of winter air. Some people might think that's comfortable. Most people probably think it's a little too humid, but nobody would say that's dry air. And we are starting to moisten up the atmosphere sufficiently that we're going to produce a few showers over the next 24 hours before we get another little input of drier air riding on a northwesterly wind. We don't have a northwesterly wind now. We have a southerly wind coming in at about 17, and that southerly wind will be with us for probably another 24 hours or so until we get a frontal passage through here to shift the winds back around. Current air temperatures across the region, 82, Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka, Parish, Bradenton comes in at 81, so is Lakewood Ranch. Northport comes in at 81 as well, 83 degrees in Punta Gorda, 79, Venice, 78, Inglewood, 74 degrees, Longboat Key. Got a few scattered showers down in the south. Lee County getting a little bit of action down there. Those are all trying to lift northward, and we're getting a little bit of light rain and drizzle mostly. Really low um, energy radar returns coming in around uh, areas of uh, Sanibel and uh, Rotunda. I think as we head into the next hour or so, we'll see a little bit better coverage down there. Pretty good showers around the Fort Myers region, producing some fairly decent rainfall. Nothing like what they have to the north of us, however. You get things like this, like you see here with all these watch boxes. And really, this is about half the watch box area that we had earlier on this morning when it extended all the way up into Kentucky. What we are getting here is kind of a confluence of different ingredients all adding up together. At the surface, you've got high dew point moist air. About 1,000 or 2,000 feet aloft, you've got a, a surge of that warm, moist air coming in on pretty strong winds from the south. That's what we're benefiting from right now. And then above that, you've got a, a little pocket of cooler air that helps to make the atmosphere unstable and want to turn over. Then above that, you've got a jet stream that acts as a vacuum cleaner, pulling all of this 
up into the sky. You get all that acting up together, and boy, you get exactly what you're seeing here, some pretty good rainfall rates. This right over where the fires were, so that's good news. And the rainfall rates here are kind of impressive, five-inch rainfalls in places. That could lead to some flash flooding in these mountainous areas. So as I look at some of the operations maps of these fire activities of the various agencies battling these blazes, it's looking good at this hour. Most of them are at least 80%, if not 100% contained. So there's a good news on that front. Just got to keep the severe weather out of there today. The tail end of this front is kind of ragged, falling apart. That's what's going to be moving through our area. That kind of ragged tail of the cold front. All of the energy will have lifted to the north. So when this comes through tomorrow, It'll be lucky to get a few scattered showers around. In the meantime, the southerly flow is going to help produce a few scattered showers around today. Winds are up southeast at about 10 to 15, becoming southerly over the course of the nighttime hours at about 10 knots. We'll look for about a 10% chance of a scattered patch of drizzle or maybe some light rain today. Much better chance tomorrow morning through the afternoon. Then we turn a tad cooler, certainly clearer for Friday and Saturday and maybe even part of Sunday as well. Then we cloud back up, get that 30% chance of showers, and we'll stay a little bit cooler in the seven days ahead. Next really good blast of cold air, Scott, I think is still about two weeks away. Wow. All right, John, thank you. In health news, a pharmaceutical company issues a recall for some of its baby products. They are homeopathic teething tablets and ear relief oral liquid. Both products can be found at CVS drugstores. The products were found to contain levels of belladonna extract, which can be dangerous or fatal when consumed in large doses. Now, this is just a precautionary recall. There have been no reports or injuries or deaths. Syringe and needle exchanges are being credited for the drop in HIV rates. The CDC reporting the drops are being seen in African-American and Latino drug users. Between 2008 and 2014, HIV diagnoses among drug, drug users dropped nearly 60 percent. But injection drug use is still responsible for 9 percent of all HIV cases. Overseas, an Italian woman is celebrating a major milestone. She is now the world's oldest living person. Emma Morano celebrating her 117th birthday this week. She was born back in 1899, and she's now the only person alive known to have lived through three centuries. And before her, there was an American woman named Susanna Jones who died at the age of 116 in May. Morano credits her longevity to a diet of raw eggs and ending her abusive marriage long before divorce was even legal. And it seems living long runs in her family. Her mother lived to 91. Some of her sisters made it to 100 years old. Congratulations. We hope she has many more ahead of her. Still to come in your Suncoast News, why prosecutors say a North Carolina police officer will not be charged in the deadly shooting of a black man. And Donald Trump deciding his job as commander in chief is more important than running a business empire. We'll be right back with the details. Hurricane season is here. Are you prepared? ABC7 has the information you need. Access our special Surviving a Hurricane now. Learn how to prepare a readiness plan and survival kit. Know your evacuation route. Be prepared, Suncoast, when severe weather threatens. Access our special on our ABC7 app and all our live streaming platforms. Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Download ABC7's free all-new news app at your app store today. You've seen me roll for 100 Gs, but I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. And so the best that I can do is pray. <laughs> Luck, be a lady tonight. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Make your holidays sparkle with style. Browse our amazing showroom, cute collectible cottages, and beautiful Christmas displays. Find the inspiration, selection, and quality you need to deck the halls merry and bright. Christmas Traditions also features the area's largest selection of quality pre-lit Christmas trees. Every size, shape, and color, and plenty of decorations to make your home shine for the holidays. Christmas Traditions by LuxArt Silks, where more is merrier. Visit us on New 301, just a quarter mile north of University Parkway. Rose takes her volunteering for Tidewell Hospice very seriously. But she knows how to have fun, too. And that's what she brings when we're invited to visit patients as part of Tidewell's pet therapy program. People love to see her, 
she really brightens their day. She makes people smile, and in end-of-life care, a smile can be a wonderful gift. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Home Sweet Home has you covered. Every week, the best home experts on the Sun Coast reveal their best tips and best tricks for inspiration and transformation. Watch Home Sweet Home every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and 11.30 p.m. on ABC7. Visit homesweethomefla.com. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Former Cuban President Fidel Castro taking a final tour of the island nation. Castro's ashes are on a four-day journey across Cuba. The trip starting today in Havana where soldiers carried his remains from Cuba's defense ministry this morning and placed them in a flower trailer pulled by a military vehicle. The coffin will go on more than 500-mile procession to its final resting place in Santiago. The route traces the victory tour Castro and his rebels took after overthrowing the forces of strongman Fulgencio Batista back in 1959. We're also learning more about a devastating plane crash that killed a Brazilian soccer team. The plane's black boxes have now been recovered from the crash site. The flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder are said to be in perfect condition. Investigators hope these devices will help them figure out exactly what caused the commuter jet to go down. The pilots reported an electrical failure and an emergency before the aircraft tail hit a mountain and the rest of the jet slid down the other side. 71 people died, including most of the members of the soccer team. Miraculously, six people survived. Investigators say their survival could be credited to where they were sitting on the plane. There's really no way to, to, to game it and say, well, if I sit in the front of the airplane, you know, the back will hit first. It, it depends on the mishap. Every, every mishap is a little bit unique in its own right. In Brazil, flags are being flown at half-staff for the victims. The country has declared three days of mourning. And in Colombia, hundreds gathered for a candlelight vigil last night. Just before that plane crash, teammates made this tear-jerking video for one of the players who had just found out he was going to be a father. The team presented him with baby boots and other gifts. The new father was one of the 71 victims who died. Here at home, Premier Sports Campus in Lakewood Ranch is hosting a big soccer event today. The 2016 Nike International Friendlies and Development Academy Winter Showcase kicking off its 14th year. The event have, will have men's under-17 national teams from around the world. All of these teams are trying to represent their countries in the World Cup in India next year. The showcase continues through Monday, the future of the sport of soccer right there. All right, time to get back to uh, the kitchen now. Chef Judy with a guest today. I have to say, Jose, I love what you're doing here. Bright colors, full flavors, right. and vegetarian dish. So yes. let's get started. Let's get started. We're going to start by making the sauce and the filling. Great. So we are going to use about, let's say, maybe five spoons of um, grapeseed oil. Okay. And that will hold a higher content, heat content, correct? Contact, yes. And we're going to, it's maybe too smoky right now, but maybe too I'll smoky. stand back. So we're going to start by toasting the... Guajillo chilies. Great. And are you leaving the seeds in there of the no, dry chili? No, actually okay. we're going to steam it and uh, we're going to uh, take the seeds off. So we're going to start by toasting the chilies. So that's going to make like the sauce to be like a little bit smoky. Good. Mm -hmm. We're going to add our garlic. Oh, yeah. About six cloves, you figure, garlic? I would say about five. Okay. About, uh, let's say the guajillo chilies, the, the big ones, are going to be around maybe seven. Okay, those. great. Mm -hmm. And those are going to be... Uh, Puya dry chilies, which is like almost like the serrano when it's uh, green, mm -hmm. and it becomes uh, dry. Wonderful. You can find a lot of different dried chilies yes. at different gourmet markets many, and many, Mexican many. markets. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now we start making our sauce. Now we're going to start uh, the other step for the filling. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the same oil that I was using for the dry chili. This is the grapeseed oil. But I'm, I'm blending my uh, herbs. So I have oh, basil. Oh, perfect. Basil, uh, tarragon. We have a uh, garlic, salt, uh, salt and pepper, and uh, also uh, red cross pepper. And yeah. that makes a beautiful holiday gift in itself of just blending your different oils and mm -hmm. herbs. I love it. 
So we have our oil. Here. And I have to tell you that pepper is starting to toast, and I need to take a swig of water because I have that tickle in my throat. Now we sell we our potatoes. Pardon me, but I really needed that. So okay, so these are regular potatoes. Regular potatoes because they take longer to cook. So sure. we're going to start with the potatoes. Okay. Probably for like six minutes, <coughs> I would say. Until we, in, in a different pan. Wow, we got a lot of different things going on. So while you're getting that ready, the mushrooms in the pan. The mushroom. I'll I do let it. everybody know that we're coming right back with this great visual and cooking to make you the ultimate vegetarian burrito. We'll be right back. How long have we been married then? For 76 years. He was kind and generous to me before we married, and he was kind and generous to me all these years. We decided on Meals on Wheels because I was getting to the point where I couldn't do all the things that I had been able to do. We're the Spans. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. If you're depressed, drinking, and using drugs, you may need help. And the Affordable Care Act guarantees coverage of substance abuse. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Are you losing hope? You can recover and get back on track. Call now now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call the Addiction Hope and Helpline now for a free assessment with someone who cares. Call 1-800-764-8708. That's 1-800-764-8708. This holiday season, give the greatest gifts of all, safety and peace of mind. Subaru offers more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. And now during the Subaru Share the Love event, you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet. A new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. What makes America's number one beach even better? How about seafood and music? Don't miss the Siesta Beach Seafood and Music Festival happening Saturday and Sunday, December 3rd and 4th from 10 to 6 p.m. Savor mouth-watering Florida Gulf Coast seafood dishes by top restaurants and chefs while you enjoy great live music from some of Florida's top musical groups. So grab your family and friends at the Siesta Beach Seafood and Music Festival December 3rd and 4th. For more information, visit SeafoodFestivals.com. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News. We're here for you. Welcome back. New at noon. Prosecutors in North Carolina deciding the police officer will not face charges in the shooting death of a black man. Prosecutors announcing a short time ago Officer Brent Vinson acted lawfully when he shot and killed Keith Scott in September. Scott was sitting in his car in an apartment complex at the time. Body cam video shows the officers confronting Scott and shouting for him to drop a gun numerous times. But Scott's family says he was not armed. However, prosecutors argue that other surveillance video shows the outline of what appeared to be a holstered gun on his ankle and other evidence. Every officer present reporting seeing Mr. Scott holding a gun. Officers can be heard on video repeatedly commanding Mr. Scott to drop the gun. The idea that Mr. Scott was unarmed does not explain why officers acted defensively, had their guns drawn, and ordered him to drop the gun. 
Vincent has been on administrative leave since the shooting. Here in Florida, a woman is being charged with the murder of a Florida State University professor. A jury indicting Catherine Megbanwa of first-degree murder charges in the shooting and killing of Daniel Markle. The professor was found dead in the garage of his Tallahassee home in 2014. Police discovered a bitter divorce sparked a murder-for-hire plot that resulted in his death. Meg Banawa allegedly has ties to both the accused shooter and the family of Markle's ex-wife. New at noon in California, a Cirque du Soleil performance was cut short when one of its employees died. Police say the technician was injured in an industrial accident. Crew members say canceling a show is rare, but due to the tragic circumstances, it was necessary in this case. The clock is ticking for protesters fighting against that Dakota Access Pipeline. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers issuing a deadline for protesters to leave the site or face the consequences. Deputies warned they'll start blocking supplies and people from entering the campsite. And with the winter weather there only getting worse, the governor says first responders will no longer be responsible for giving aid to those who stay. But protesters say they are not budging. They believe the pipeline will damage sacred Native American sites. But the company building the pipeline is trying to convince them the pipeline will be safe. Water is sacred, but it's also good business to protect your water resource. This pipeline is being built where two existing pipelines exist today that were built through your state in 1990, 1982. We've not disturbed any historical sites. 17 Native Americans who've served under the Obama administration signed a letter asking the president to step in and allow protesters to stay. About 2,000 veterans are planning to go to Standing Rock next week to protect them. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are giving them until next Friday to leave. Yeah. All right, let's get a, another check on our weather here today. And it's uh, almost December, but it doesn't yes. feel like it, does it? Oh, man, it is so warm out yeah. there, you know. And the thing is, it's not just a warm couple of days. It has just been consistently yeah. warm and dry. Yeah. So it's nice to get a few rain chances into the forecast. But, yeah, you look at the long-term models, it's going to be in, uh, probably another two weeks mm. before we get a, a blast of cold air in here. Where it feels like December. Yeah, but yeah. hopefully hopefully we'll get that before Christmas. I hope so anyway, yeah. before the holidays. That would be nice. No uh, AC on Christmas. That's what I'm asking for. I, I know. I kind of <laughs> miss just opening up those. Yeah. The mosquitoes were back a little bit uh, yesterday. You know, I thought oh, we'd man. lost them, but the... Anyway, we have a nice blue sky giving way to a few fair weather clouds. I think as that southerly wind flow continues, those clouds may produce a patch or two of drizzle across the area. Most places not going to see that, but a few places will. So that'll be good. We like that. A little bit of rainfall at this time of year is always a good thing. You can see those showers kind of lifting up from the south. I'll put the rain chance for all of us today at about 10%, but uh, the rain chances are better the further south you go. And I'll tell you, what you see there, a lot of that not even reaching the ground. A lot of that is cloud water. Uh, forecast calls for a daytime high coming in around 82 degrees or so, and uh, with that 10% chance of a shower. And over the next 24 hours or so, I think our 36 hours, I think our rain chances are going to go up as we see a cold front kind of inch its way closer to us. And don't get too excited about the cold front tag. We'll talk about what it means to our weather in just a few minutes, Scott. I don't appreciate her screaming at me across the store. I am making a report against you. You discriminated against me twice. Well, a Chicago woman's rant inside of a store is making the rounds on social media. In the video, the customer is arguing with the store clerk. It all started when she was asked to buy a larger bag by a cashier. The store manager, who is not seen in the video, eventually steps in. The woman claims she was being discriminated against for being white and a Trump supporter. But a nearby shopper who captured the video says that was not the case at all. The things that she screamed and all those employees, no, nobody should be subject to that abuse. The store where this happened, Michael, says it does not tolerate discrimination against customers or employees and is investigating the incident. This rant lasted nearly 20 minutes. Since posting the video, the shopper has started a GoFundMe page to raise money for a $400 gift card for that manager that she says handled the situation very well. President-elect Donald Trump says he's stepping away from his business empire. He's also filling in his cabinet, but several big posts still remain open. ABC's Kenneth Moulton has the latest from Washington. 
Donald Trump's growing cabinet. The president-elect is tapping fellow billionaire Wilbur Ross as Secretary of Commerce and Goldman Sachs executive Steve Mnuchin to lead Treasury. Carrier jail act, I think it's terrific. Mnuchin at Trump Tower this morning praised Trump's new deal to keep 1,000 jobs with Carrier in Indiana, the home state of his VP-elect, Mike Pence. The president-elect and the vice president picked up the phone and called the CEO of United Technologies and told him we wanted to keep jobs here. Can't remember the last time a president did that. Tomorrow, Trump and Pence will be in Indiana to announce the deal. It's the first leg of their victory tour. They'll end the day with a big rally in Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> Applause for Trump, who broke bread last night with Mitt Romney, a possible Secretary of State contender. The man who once called Trump a con artist, a fraud, and a phony now says... I happen to think that America's uh, best days are ahead of us. President-elect Trump is the very man who can lead us to that uh, better future. That better future for Trump will come at a cost, his business. The president-elect announced on Twitter he will leave his great business in total to his children in order to fully focus on running the country. Trump said legal documents are being crafted which will take him completely out of the business operations to avoid conflicts of interest. Trump says he'll hold a major news conference in two weeks when he steps away from his business. If he takes questions from the press, it will be his first time since July. Kenneth Moten, ABC News, Washington. In consumer news, conflicting views causing a popular news site to lose some of its advertisers. Kellogg's cereal brand is pulling its ads from Breitbart News. The food company says it does not want to advertise on sites that are not aligned with its values. Breitbart is considered a right-wing website with controversial populist and anti-immigrant views. Many consumers consider the site's content racist, sexist, and anti-Semitic. The site is formerly run by Steve Bannon, who is now set to become Donald Trump's chief White House strategist. It's the time of year when, where many classrooms across the country are creating and putting up holiday decorations. But imagine taking your child to school where there is no Christmas spirit to be found. School board members in an Oregon school district are banning all holiday symbols and decorations from its schools this year. This includes Santa Claus. Officials there say they want to make sure all cultures and backgrounds are comfortable at school. Some parents, though, are not buying it. I'm from that generation where we believe in Santa, and my kids believe in Santa, and yeah. they Santa should be able rock. to celebrate it. It's not meant to be that at all. Again, it's just really a reminder and, and trying to get people to be sensitive. The district is also telling nearby business owners who wish to decorate offices or doors to refrain from religious themed decorations or images like Santa. Meanwhile, Christmas is on display at the White House. First Lady Michelle Obama laying out the red carpet for military families yesterday to get a sneak peek of this year's holiday decorations. This is the last holiday season at the White House for the Obamas. Despite some speculation, the First Lady may one day run for office. President Obama telling Rolling Stone magazine, quote, she's a talented person but too sensible to want to be in politics. All right, back to the kitchen now and Chef Judy, who's cooking lunch today with Chef uh, Jose Rojas from Louis Modern. Scott, this lunch is just <laughs> right up our alley when you want to eat clean and healthy. Right. So show us how we're going to roll these sauteed vegetables. And while we're off camera, you added the fresh corn. Right, after we chose uh, dry chilies and uh, the garlic, we are going to add the fresh corn, uh, tomatoes, and uh, onions and we're gonna cover it with the water it could be water it could be a uh, chicken stock whatever Great. is your preference and um, and then now our potatoes that are being uh, soft we add the butternut squash we add the mushroom mm. so that's gonna be our filling for the this alone are two great side dishes that you could serve oh, right yeah, for sure so we are gonna now uh, use uh, napa cabbage as our shell Mm -hmm. And you got this over at Warden Farms, the Warden farmer's Farm, market. Yes. I love so, going over there. So f to uh, blend this, we're going to use uh, uh, boiled water. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little bit of salt okay. to the water. And we got to make sure the water is boiling. So Great. it can solve the shell. And just probably just dip it there for like, I would say, maybe 30 seconds. Okay, perfect. Just to get it limp. Yes, and we're going to use a blanch. Good. I mean, an uh, ice bath. Stops the cooking process whenever you have an ice bath set up for any of your vegetables. So here we have our filling, which is the mushroom, potatoes, and banana squash. And now Beautiful. we're going to roll it. And about two cabbage. pieces you're using in I'm the using, napa. I mean, sometimes like the, the napa cabbage is mm -hmm. got really huge leaves, so it could be just one. If it's not enough, just, we can use two and just like press it together. Oh, just this is it. great. You 
At Louis Modern, you guys really know how to do vegetarian dishes well that are so flavorful and it leaves you so satisfied. I think that's what's really important. Mm -hmm. I love this. Now talk to us briefly about the sauces that you're going to put on the top. The sauce that we are going to use uh, is, of course, the mole. And this yes. is going to be optional. It could be uh, uh, sour cream, queso fresco, and I brought some uh, quill eggs. I say put them all in. That's how we, we want our that. lunch. I'm, we'll I'm, yes, let's for go sure. for the big things. So when you come back, we'll have the finished dish and we'll take a bite and I can hardly wait. Can wait. Well done, Chef. Thank you. The official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Attention blood clot filter patients. Surgically implanted blood clot filters are potentially life-threatening. Some filters are prone to breaking, resulting in pieces of the filter moving through the body and causing internal bleeding. If you had surgery to implant a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to a cash award, even if you haven't suffered side effects yet. Call the Gold Shield Group now, 888-747-5291, to see if you qualify for a cash award, 888-747-5291. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Sun Coast. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice, choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. So temperature outside right now coming in warm at about 80 degrees with a dew point of a very sticky 68 degrees. That does not feel comfortable to a lot of people when you get up to close to the 70 degree mark. It's still not as bad as summer, obviously, but still it's not as nice as dew points in the 40s and 50s. And we may briefly return to dew points in the 50s as we head into the next uh, day and a half or so. We have a south wind coming in at about 17, really just pumping the moisture up from the south. 83 degrees in Mayaca, Arcadia, Wachula, 82 in Bradenton Parish, Lakewood Ranch, 81 in Northport, 87 in Inglewood, 80 in Venice, and 74 at Longbow Key. So we have some showers trying to work their way northward. Now a lot of what you see here not reaching the ground, re-evaporating from the cloud before it hits the surface. But some of it actually is hitting the surface. And Lee County in particular is seeing some fairly decent rain showers in places. This all lifting to the north, kind of dissipating as it does so. But we do have an opportunity of seeing a little bit of light rain around. Now, absolutely unrelated to that for the most part, back to the west and to the north, is a frontal boundary that's producing a lot of rainfall in the deep south. We talked about that in the first half hour. Well, that front is sinking southward and promises us a chance of rain tomorrow morning as well by a different mechanism than this southerly wind flow. That frontal boundary will be actually kind of falling apart as it moves through here. So the chance of rain that we're going to get from it is going to be small at about 20% or so. But nevertheless, one thing it will do is switch our winds around to the northwest and with that wind switch will come that little bit of drier, less humid air for several days until the next front comes through. And then we'll get another chance of rain probably on Sunday. Partly sunny, high humidity, possible rain showers tomorrow. Take a look at the RPM computer model. You'll see a few scattered showers headed this way from that southerly wind. And then the front kind of just falls apart as it sinks south. Friday, we started to see some clearing. Sunday or Saturday should be a nice day. And then Sunday we get into another chance of rainfall later in the day. 
Last day of the hurricane season, and it looks pretty good in all of the basins. Gulf waters near Atlantic and the Caribbean all look fine. It's over. It's done. I don't see any chance of seeing any more development in these basins. It was a fairly active season, I think. We had uh, 15 named storms. Normal is 12, so we were above average. Major storms are were three, and typically in a typical year, we get three storms. So on the high end of the scale, we were pretty average. But on the low end of the scale, it was kind of an active season. We had two that kind of gave us problems. We had Colin, and then we had uh, Hermine, both of which kind of skirted by us and brought us some issues. And uh, that hopefully will not be the case next year, but we'll wait and see how it all plays out. North, a uh, southeast wind rather will switch eventually southwest, but today will be kind of breezy this afternoon at about 10 to 15. Two to four foot seas, moderate chop on bay and inland waters. We had a 743 low tide. High tide does not come until about an hour from now. Another low tide comes at 622. Forecast calls for that 30% chance of rain showers as we head into Sunday with daytime high temperatures knocked down a few degrees over the next couple of days. But I don't think we'll get into any cold air for another couple of weeks. Back to you, Scott. All right, John, thank you. Behind one woman's glitz and glamour is a heart devoted to helping others. This week's Amazing Suncoast Woman not only plans many galas and parties, but also focuses on building up her community. ABC 7's Linda Carson has her story. Margaret Wise is a very busy woman. I'm the founder of Designing Women, where we are today, and I'm on the Hospital Foundation Board. I've been on the Hospital Foundation Board for 16 years. I've been president twice. I'm on the board of the Oslo. I've been president of the Oslo twice. I was on the board of the Opera. And also Selby Gardens. The idea for Designing Women was born on 9-11 when Margaret, Diana Roskamp, and Jean Widener Goldstein put their heads together. So we really ought to do something where we could earn some money rather than just keep asking people for money. And they came up with the idea for the Designing Women Boutique. We all like vintage stores, high-end vintage stores, and at that time we didn't have one in Sarasota. And so we decided we would do a high-end vintage store. The Designing Women Boutique has now given over $2 million to 37 different Suncoast charities. Margaret is a Mississippi girl. I went to Mississippi State. And, uh, and, their, uh, and the president of the college uh, introduced me to his brother later on in life, and that was Bill. And so Bill and I married almost 40 years ago. She enjoyed her career. I had a real estate company in Jackson, and I did real estate in uh, Texas. Her husband also had a very successful career. My husband was general counsel of Shell Oil Company for 35 years. 25 years ago, they moved to Sarasota. Margaret got her real estate license here, but she was never able to use it. And then my mother got, came down, she was sick. Then he got very sick. And so I, I could do charity work because if I didn't show up, somebody's there to cover for me. She has known terrible tragedy. I had one daughter and she died when she was 19. How did she get through that? My religion, my faith, and I, I leaned on it heavy and uh, my family. Margaret has never asked for gratitude or a claim for her work, but she gets quiet satisfaction as she sees the many things in this town that she helped to build. Well, we're by the hospital, I think, oh, we helped do that wing. Mm -hmm. I go to the opera house, I think, oh, we helped do that. And she did it all because she wanted to make a positive difference in her community. And her life lesson? Just don't take it too seriously. Just don't take it too seriously and just keep on going, just keep on going. So thank you, Margaret Wise, for all of your work to make Sarasota the great community it is. You are truly an amazing woman. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. All right, Linda, thank you. There are some holiday events taking place this week on the Suncoast. Put on your calendar, the Holiday Nights at the Cotizan kicks off tomorrow night. The Ringling Mansion will be all decked out with lights and decorations. The first showing will happen tomorrow night from five to eight. Tickets are $5 to $10. The event will take place every Thursday through the month of December. And in Venice, the annual Christmas walk begins tomorrow night. People are encouraged to come out and enjoy the live entertainment, food, and holiday shopping along historic downtown. Festivities begin at 5 p.m. and go until 8, right along Venice Avenue, which is all lit up in beautiful holiday lights right now. When we come back, we'll wrap up lunch with Chef Judy and her special guests. Plus, a new partnership is giving us Taylor Swift and Reese Witherspoon 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Details in entertainment news. 
These are our heroes. They have sacrificed so much to serve our country. And now Granny Nannies is truly honored to serve them. We're here and we're ready to help. Call us today. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied and her caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs, stop the crimes. ABC 7 News at 7, weeknights. Using baby powder or talc may lead to ovarian cancer. $72 million was awarded in a recent talc lawsuit after lawyers found secret internal documents showing that the baby powder manufacturer knew about the link between talc and powder and ovarian cancer for decades but never told the public. If you were diagnosed with ovarian cancer after using talc and powder on a regular basis, you may qualify for a cash award. Call 800-793-6621. 800-793-6621. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Holiday scratch-offs are here, and oh, they make great surprises. Imagine the joy they will bring with over $126 million in prizes. Use them for a wreath or a place card for your feast. Attach them, scratch them, and let the magic happen. Holiday scratch-offs. The Florida Lottery has them. Just imagine. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. What makes America's number one beach even better? How about seafood and music? Don't miss the Siesta Beach Seafood and Music Festival happening Saturday and Sunday, December 3rd and 4th from 10 to 6 p.m. Savor mouth-watering Florida Gulf Coast seafood dishes by top restaurants and chefs while you enjoy great live music from some of Florida's top musical groups. So grab your family and friends at the Siesta Beach Seafood and Music Festival December 3rd and 4th. For more information, visit SeafoodFestivals.com. At Granny Nan we provide your loved ones with the care they deserve. Compassionate and experienced help right where you need it most, at home. Visit us at grannynannies.com. A helping hand and a gentle heart. This could be one of my favorite recipes. It's light, it's bright, it's fresh, it's on your dinner menu. Yes, it is. Let's mm -hmm. talk about the dish again. Well, this is uh, what our sauce looks like. And then this is the final plate. So <coughs> it's pretty much the enchilada, water farm enchilada. Start with a mushroom, potatoes, and butternut nice squash. And your, I mean, your toppings could be optional. It could be cheese, cream, and, and I love quail it. Egg. Mm -hmm. I love it. And then with the quail egg on top, it's beautiful. Now, if you want this recipe, it should be up on the website in about two hours' time. Just go into mysuncoast.com. Click on the dining page. You're going to find recipes. And go to our restaurant partners like Louis Modern. Yes, go do. see their website and all their information for upcoming holiday events. Guys, I'm having a great vegetarian lunch, and I'll send it back to you. Thanks, again, Chef. All right, mm. Judy, thank you so much. An update now on the case of a truck driver who crashed into the limo carrying comedian Tracy Morgan. He's now pleading guilty of that crime. Kevin Roper is charged with vehicular homicide and four counts of aggravated assault. Roper was driving a Walmart truck in 2014 when he crashed into Morgan's limo on the New Jersey Turnpike, killing one person and injuring several others, including Morgan. Under the plea, he could avoid prison if he performs community service. Katy Perry receiving a big surprise last night when she was presented with a humanitarian award from Hillary Clinton. Perry was a big supporter of Clinton during the campaign. She also campaigned for her. The singer was given the Audrey Hepburn Humanitarian Award at the annual Snowflake Ball hosted by the United Nations Children's Fund. 
Clinton describes Perry as someone who has the spirit, energy, and compassion that Audrey Hepburn brought to her work from the organization. Direct TV customers should be on the lookout for a new channel featuring all things Taylor Swift and Reese Witherspoon. Swift will have her own channel called Taylor Swift Now. It will offer never before seen concerts, special events, and behind the scenes footage. Witherspoon is also getting her own video on demand channel called Hello Sunshine, which focuses on telling female empowerment stories. Finally, the Packers win over the Eagles Monday night means one Green Bay fan could finally get a little warmer. Glenn Seafelt vowed he would not wear pants until his team won a game, no matter what the thermostat said. Until Monday night, he was wearing shorts. But now, since the Packers won, he says, well, he's going to keep wearing those shorts. He thinks they're a good luck for the team and says he actually prefers wearing them over pants, even if it is snowing outside. I don't know how long that's going to last for him. That could be our Donnie. Yeah, he Donnie loves shorts, Donnie himself too. loves the shorts. <laughs> yeah. So a little different in Sarasota and John's great yeah. weather, though. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think Donnie could do the snow <laughs> in shorts. Especially when it gets that kind of slushy yeah. kind of oh. snow. Yeah, and your Chilling feet in get your wet. And the wind late, starts late howling. January. Will he be wearing shorts? I don't think yeah. so. Let's uh, bring He'll him be back here. up then and see if he's <laughs> yeah. in his sleepy pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of rain showers around this afternoon, perhaps in places, but not a big rain chance. Tomorrow, a little better rain chance, drizzle mostly. And then maybe some lower temperatures for a couple of days in a row. Yay, okay. thank Sounds you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Our next news at 5. Hope to see you then, everyone. I owed the IRS $10,000. I owed the IRS $20,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now, and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now, and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. We saved our home and overcame the most powerful collection agency in the world. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 1-800-565-7740. That's 1-800-565-7740.